Hey everyone, Shaman here. I'm really excited to get into these notes, so let's just do it. I know people take special note of the way their notes look and appear, but that's actually not the most important thing when you're taking notes. The most important thing is actually the content of your notes. Are you getting relevant material from your lecture? So this video is going to focus on that. As for the way your notes appear, everyone has their own style and it's a representation of the way their brain works. Do what you feel is best for you and the way your notes look and the way it's structured will naturally come. The only thing structure-wise I would recommend is using handwritten notes over typed notes. And that's just because there are so many more benefits to using handwritten notes. Because it's more personal, you better are able to absorb the material you're reading. Also, it's much more customizable, easier, and faster. And also, it's less distracting to both take and review your notes when you need to review them later. Now with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. My first tip is that you wanna pay careful attention to what cues your teacher is saying, whether to write something down or not write it down. This is actually the most important tip, but it's actually one people don't pay enough attention to. This is super obvious at the beginning, like when your teacher says this is important or not important, but as you go along, those tips, those hints on what you need to write down become much more subtle. Here are some phrases you might hear or variations of these phrases that you know you should not write these notes. Don't worry about this too much, but whatever comes after that, you don't wanna write that down. Your teacher might also say something like, just a quick tangent on this topic, and whatever comes after that, don't worry about it. You might hear something like, if you're super creative, you can even, that's just an extra step for people who are interested. An example of something you wanna take particular attention to and write down in your notes, is when you hear the phrase, many people get confused about this, and then your teacher goes on to explain what they're confused about. That confusion must have arisen from something. That topic has probably been asked about a lot, and it's on the forefront of your teacher's mind. And who knows, maybe even last year, there was a question on that on the exam, people got it wrong, and they asked the teacher about it because there was a lot of confusion. So it's very likely that that is something that's relevant to your exam. Also, anything repeated is a cue to write down. And these are just some examples, and if you pay attention closely, you'll hear these cues. The next tip is to not write down what you definitely don't need. For example, if you're in your third year of college, and you've learned about the neuron and its structure in so many classes, you don't need to write down what an axon is, what a dendrite is, for the millionth time. You only want to write a note down when you hear something new. Now here's a tip that's not common, but is extremely relevant, and if you do this, it will greatly help you on your exam. You want to take special attention to when examples are given in your class. What you first want to do is, when you're given an example problem, you want to link it to the specific topic that that example is about. For example, if we're learning about pH, and its relation to H+, what it means, etc. And then your teacher does an example of pH using the negative log equation. You want to link that example to the specific topic. The example is important because it may be a key clue in figuring out the level and scope of what your teacher will put on the exam. The specific topic that is linked to that example, you want to take special note of that because it was important enough for your teacher to make an example about. The next tip is that when in doubt, just write it. When you start your class, you'll be unsure of many things, whether they're relevant or not on the exam. Before your first exam, you wanna make sure to just write those down. This means you'll have larger notes to study for your first exam, and it'll take you more time to review for that first exam, but that's something that's just necessary before the exam. After the exam, after you've seen what's on the test, you can start removing some of that gray area that you know will not be on the test. For example, in my physics class, I was unsure whether or not I should have been writing derivations for this specific class. After I saw the structure of the first test, 
and the way it was nowhere close to asking conceptual material like derivations, I started removing those from my notes. This way you'll be able to make concise notes that are relevant for your exam. So while many physics classes will make you learn and write the derivations, I didn't need it for my specific class. So you want to tailor those notes so they are best suited to what's on your specific class's exam. This last tip is super important if you're able to do it. What you want to do is cross-reference your notes with a friend in that class. This is important because if you missed something or something wasn't clear or you weren't able to get the structure that your teacher wanted like listing one, two, and three under a bigger branch, your friend might have gotten that point. So you want to take their notes and make sure you've got those relevant things also in your notes. You want to have a look at your friend's notes only after you rewrite your own notes. And if you want to know more about rewriting notes, there's my straight A's video in the description. The best way to do this is if your friend also rewrites their notes, you both can just compare your rewritten notes. And if you do that, then you're highly likely to do well in your class. And that's it. That's all you need to make razor focused notes. I really hope this helps with the content of your notes. As for structure, just do what you feel comes naturally and your notes will end up looking great too. If you think this video will help, then please share it and please subscribe if you haven't. My next video will be a Q&A about me, so leave any questions down below. And thank you for watching. Bye.